Hello, this is Stan Harder, developer of Digital Pipe Fitter. This video describes how to work with joint constructions. Let's start with a bevel joint to show some of the different ways two components can interact. A bevel joint is a pipe intersecting with a flat plate surface. The orientation of that interaction is specified in the parameters here. In this case, we have a 45 degree angle and a very thick walled pipe in order to make it easier for you to see what's happening. Joint construction is specified below the parameters on most joint types. However, not all of these settings will be available for all joint types. In the pipe end setting, which is currently set to on surface, the pipe is cut so that it rests at the top surface of the plate. A small hole is cut in the plate to match the inside diameter of the pipe. If we change the setting to on far surface, the pipe is cut to lie flush with the back surface of the pipe, and a larger hole is cut in the pipe to allow the pipe to be inserted through it. Or there's a third option. Maybe you want the pipe to go all the way through the plate and not get cut at all. So then select the all the way through setting. Let's go through these settings again with two pipes instead of a pipe and a plate. So let's select the branch joint. The on surface setting has the branch resting on the exterior of the header pipe, as you would expect. The inside wall setting has the branch cut to be flush with the inside diameter of the header pipe. Inside header pipe setting has the branch end somewhere inside the header pipe. It doesn't really matter where and there is no cut done for the branch, but the header has a hole going through its side. On far side wall, the branch's end rests flush against the inside diameter of the far side of the header. A through hole is still generated on the top entry point of the header. Notice that the header template has a through hole here and a smaller hole on the far side of the pipe. When the template wraps around the pipe, these two cut lines here and here join to create a single hole on the back side. On far outside wall setting, the branch is flush with the far outside diameter surface of the header. And finally, all the way through, creates two through holes in the header with no cut line for the branch. There is also settings under the joint construction section for the bevel type for each pipe. When set to bevel cut, two cut lines are generated and print it out for each cut. One for where the cut meets the exterior of the pipe where the template is laying and one shown here as a dashed line where it meets the interior surface of the pipe. To make this cut the torch or saw needs to be held at the correct angle so that while cutting along the line on the exterior diameter of the pipe the position of the cut on the interior diameter is directly below the interior cut line. This can be difficult. It would be easier to just hold the torch or saw perpendicular to the exterior surface of the pipe and cut on a single line. This is what the perpendicular cut setting is for. Now a single cut line is shown on the template. When a pipe is cut along that line with the cutting tool held perpendicular to the surface of the pipe, the result is a case where the most material possible is removed from the end of the pipe while still coming in contact with the header all the way around the joint. This can create some v-grooves around the joint, which generally is what welders want, but it might not be exactly what you want the joint to look like. There is another option called hand beveled 
which does the opposite of the perpendicular cut setting. The hand bevel setting removes the least amount of material possible so that the grooves will disappear but the result has areas of interference in parts of the joint. This gives you an opportunity to hand grind or file the bevel to meet your requirements while it gives you a reference line to remove the material up to. These three bevel types are also available on the hole in the header but the behavior is not quite as simple to describe. Viewing the 3D rendering will show you exactly what you get in these cases. Something happens for an on inside wall construction that is very useful but needs some explanation. The header bevel is set to perpendicular cut and let's start with a branch bevel set to bevel cut. You can see that the header cut line is generated to allow a single perpendicular cut to make a useful joint. Now let's change the branch end cut to a perpendicular cut. This will remove some material from the end of the branch pipe, which would create a gap in the joint if it weren't for joint optimization built into Digital Pipe Fitter, which automatically shrinks the header hole until no gap remains. Here the tip of the branch pipe ends below the surface of the header pipe. Optimization also works if the header pipe is thinner and looks more like this. So a single joint type can actually generate many dozens of different joint configurations based on these settings and you can see exactly what you're getting by looking at the 3D preview. Digital Pipe Fitter can be downloaded for free from digitalpipefitter.com. The free version is fully functional except it can only print limited sample templates. For full printing capabilities, purchase a license at digitalpipefitter.com. Thank you for watching.